Lesson 2.3, Model Three-Digit Numbers. We can show a three-digit number by using blocks. This is a hundred block, that's a ten long, and that's one little block. It represents one. The digit in the hundreds place tells the number of hundreds blocks. We have a one in the hundreds place. We have one hundred block. The digit in the tens place tells the number of tens blocks. We have a three as a digit in the tens place, and we have three longs of ten. And the digit in the ones place, we have a zero, tells the number of ones blocks. We have no ones blocks. We have zero ones blocks. We can draw a quick picture to show a three-digit number. Here our number is 253. We make a square for 100, a line for 10, and a dot for 1. We have 200, we make two squares. We have 50, in a 5 in the tens place, so we make 5 tens, and we have 3, so we put 3 for 3 ones. We have 253, that's 2 hundreds, 5 tens, 3 ones. We make 2 squares, 5 lines, 3 dots. In the number 237, the 2 is in the hundreds place, the 3 is in the tens place, and the 7 is in the ones place. We can fill in these blanks with the correct numbers. 237 is equal to, it's telling us there's a 2 in the hundreds place. How many tens are there? Can you look at this and tell how many tens there are? If you said three, you're right. And how many ones are there? It's telling us seven is in the ones place. 237 is two hundreds plus three tens plus seven ones. Using blocks, 237 is two hundreds plus three tens plus seven ones. And we use the fewest blocks possible. That means we try not to use too many blocks. If it's two hundreds, then we use two one hundred blocks. We use three tens and we use seven ones. We don't use tens for the hundreds. We use the hundred blocks. We can make a quick drawing of 237. We use two squares for the two hundreds. We use three lines for the three tens, and we use seven dots for the seven ones. We make a quick drawing so we don't waste time. And we read and say this number as 237. We don't use the word and when we read or write whole numbers. 426 is 426. We're not going to say 426. We just say 426. The word and is used when reading and writing decimal points. And we're going to learn about decimal points in Chapter 7 when we learn about money. You'll also learn about decimal points in fourth grade and higher. Mrs. Kim baked 132 cookies. A large box holds 100 cookies. A medium box holds 10 cookies. And a small box holds one cookie. She filled one large box and two small boxes. How many medium boxes will she need? So we know that 132 is 100 and three tens and two ones. We also know a large box holds 100, so that's the one large box. We know a small box holds one cookie, and she used two small boxes for the two ones. We need to know how many medium boxes she used, and a medium box holds 10 cookies. There are three tens here. 
Do you know how many medium boxes Mrs. Kim needs? If you said three, you're right. Because each box holds 10, we'd have 10, 20, 30, and that would be the three in 132. That's the three tens. How are the numbers 365 and 563 alike? We think, what is the same about these numbers? Well, they both have three digits and they both have a six in the tens place. Look at that. They both have a six in their tens place. So that's how they are alike. And how are they different? Well, 365 has three in the hundreds place and five in the ones place. 563 has a five in the hundreds place and a three in the ones place. If we write the numbers in a place value chart, we see that that has three hundreds and that has five hundreds, so that's different. And we can see that that has five ones and that has three ones, that's different. And we can see that they both have a six in the tens place. They also both have three digits. Here we have a riddle. I am a three digit number. My model has four hundreds blocks, no tens blocks, and four ones blocks. What number am I? So we think it has four hundreds, zero tens, and four ones. Do you know what the number is? We can draw a quick picture to help us. There's four hundreds, there's no tens, and there's four ones. We can also use a place value chart to help us. Four hundreds, zero tens, and four ones. If you said the number 404, you're right. It's four hundreds, zero tens, four ones. Our next lesson, 2.4, we're going to write and draw how many hundreds, tens, and ones we see. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you're doing very well. Bye.